Hey everybody, it's me, Tara Michelle, aka Opinionated Sense. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are a repeat offender. It is day after Christmas and this is the first video that I've filmed since I've been back from my trip to Mexico. And I wanted to just make this really quick video today um, to give you guys something fresh since all the videos I've been posting I actually filmed before I left for Mexico. Um, I just wanted to tell you really quickly what perfumes I took on my trip with me. Now, I didn't want to travel heavy because, of course, we were flying and I didn't know the whole TSA regulations thing. I don't fly a lot, so I was really, really nervous. And I decided to take only things that I wouldn't have cared if they told me I had to throw them away. <laughs> Originally, I thought I wouldn't care about these fragrances, but lo and behold, I actually fell in love with them. So let me go ahead and jump right into it. The first one I'm going to talk about is Saint, and I actually have a one ounce bottle up there. If you, I don't know if you guys can see it in this shot, but um, man, I thought at first I thought this smelled like a little body spray, strawberry body spray. No, this is so beautiful and so flirty, sexy, and I wore it every night to dinner. I man I you see it was full i hadn't used it and i went through it's like listen this is this was exquisite it starts out fruity flirty and then the dry down is much more sexy and sensual and my husband loved it it was like my dressy scent for mexico i just I don't know. I'm, I'm late to the party because I'm pretty sure this is this is by Kat Von D. I'm pretty sure everyone has heard of this. I recently just found it this year, like in the later half of this year at that. But I'm so glad I did. I absolutely love this. The next thing that I took with me was um, Sol de Janeiro's Brazilian Crush Cheriosa 62 Body Mist. This was also full. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Come on. That's hilarious. I wore this every night to bed after getting out the shower. I also wore it a couple of times um, to dinner because we were there for nine nights. I wore Saint predominantly. And then once I started spraying this at night, it was a couple of nights where I was just like, you know what, I really want to smell like this. This feels like where we are. This is beautiful. Ah. Oh. And I own the perfume too. Um, I just hauled a full bottle because I just had a travel size. and was like, no, I need, I need the full thing. So of course, when it was a Black Friday sale, I decided to get involved with that. I can't stop smelling this once I start smelling it. I don't even know what's in this, but it smells like vanilla and, and, and beautifulness, you know. So I'll be talking about the perfume. I'm pretty sure we all know what that smells like at this point. And last but not least, okay, I bought a couple of these fragrances from Pacifica. And when I got to the house, I was like, they don't come with a top. They're super small. What did I do? And this smelled like a urinal cake to me before it's used, clearly. Um, and then it smelled a little bit like a Bath and Body Works candle. And so I was like, yeah, if I take this and TSA is like, you know, it's too... Bye. I don't care because it had just been sitting in my closet. This is Pacifica's Hawaiian Ruby Guava in Mexico. This was stunning. I wore it every day to breakfast, every day to lunch when we went shopping, um, we went out ATVing and stuff like that. I, this, 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 I would just wear this every day out there. Something about the way it just heated up on my skin and mixed with me was amazing. And I guess because, I don't know, I, I didn't try it. When I first got it, I was like, ooh, no. I sprayed it and I was just like, yeah, I don't know when I would wear this. I don't know what I would be doing, maybe just for around the house. Um, no, as you see, this was completely full, this too. Got, and I was just gone for nine days or 10 days. So yeah, yeah, I fell in love with all of these. This I spray every now and then just to remind me of Mexico again because I miss it. Like guys, when you travel, do something all-inclusive. If you've never done all-inclusive before, I mean, just to have everything that you do at the resort be included. So you go to eat whenever you want to, wherever you want to, and you don't have to pay anything. 
it, it was just an exquisite experience. And even if you only do it once in your life, I think everybody should. So I have a lot of ideas coming up. I am also going to be working with my girl Lulu coming up soon. I will be on a live with her. So look for that. Um, I'm super nervous because I've never done a live before. I don't know, guys. I kind of feel like I'm growing up here. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. While I was on vacation, I also turned 40 on December 19th. So happy birthday to me because it's still December, which means it's still my birthday. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, of course, as always, guys, please consider subscribing, especially if you've been here more than once. Hit the like button. Set the notification bell. That way you'll never miss any of my uploads. I can't wait to discuss with you guys my latest haul because I ordered a crap ton of stuff for Black Friday. Some of it is still not here. So I may just have to do a haul in January, but I really don't want to become the haul queen. That's not what this is. However, I will still be posting my most worn of 2020. And I will also be posting everything that I have on whatever date that I posted before 2021. So, yeah. I want to see you guys in the comments. Let me know if you have any of these, what you think of them. And until then, bye.